Welcome everyone to West Washington for the second game of the holiday tournament between the host West Washington Senators and the visiting Eastern Musketeers. These two teams played just a couple of weeks ago um, and it was all all uh, Musketeers. <laughs> and like we said then, you know, it was it was a case of these two teams were going to meet up. We already had the draw out. So joined by my uh, broadcast partner tonight, Mr. Bubba Abbott. What are you thinking? Well, glad to be back and, uh, you know, always look forward to this tournament. Uh, first off, you know, if you were listening or watching here on the West Washington live stream, uh, you know, that first game ended boarding with a big victory over Salem 67-38. Kaysom Nash, uh, Coach Doc Nash's son, had a stellar performance. Yeah, that, that's kind of an understatement. Points, a single game scoring record for Borden. Uh, so just a, a great outing. He had more points than Salem's team. So that tells you something about the quality of player that he is and the quality of players we're going to see in, in this whole tournament. Uh, you know, I think all, all uh, four teams have some players and some guys that can play. And, you know, Eastern's got some as well in the Cherry Kid and Caden Temple. And then, you know, I, I feel like our Senators, um, you know, have some kids that uh, – that can uh, play the game as well as uh, our buddy Jason Petmeyer yeah. heading out. But, uh, you know, uh, like I said, and I think you and I talked about it before we went on, I, you know, I like our I like our five or six versus Eastern's five or six. The, the problem will be, you know, with Jacob Cherry playing in this game, he didn't play in the regular season matchup earlier. Right. Because he was injured, but... Um, I feel like you know if we can if we can limit him a little bit and stop everybody else, I like our chances. We're going to have to get a total team effort from our senators here tonight if we want to come out of this thing with a victory. And you know I think our kids are capable of that. I think we're starting to see uh, a lot of our players get into basketball shape and basketball form. And we saw that the other night up at Trinity Lutheran. Uh, you know, now naturally Trinity, probably not the team and caliber that Eastern is, but that being said, we had a lot of kids uh, play a lot of minutes, gain some confidence, a lot of scoring uh, in that game. So I think that helps us, you know, heading into this tournament here tonight. Just like I said, up at Trinity the other night, we had four players in double figures, led by Mason Cox with 15, Jackson Cameron 11, uh, Lane had 11, and also Kent Chase with 11. So if we get that kind of balanced scoring from our team and we can limit, uh, you know, Eastern's uh, team a little bit, I think, you know, I like our chances here tonight. So we've, we've got to have a total team effort, and you and I talked about that. I, I think you hit the nail right on the head. You've got to have a total team effort, and you've got to have three, four kids in double, oh, yeah. in double figures. And that's, what, that's the difference between the first time we played, um, you know, the, the Musketeers and, um, you know, then when we go to Trinity the next day and we have four kids in double digits. Right, yeah, that, and that's, you know, that's that's what it takes. And I think that comes as the basketball season progresses. I mean, you know, we our schedule, we talked about this last weekend, you know, our schedule kind of is heavy in the beginning of the year with, you know, teams that, you know, are a little bigger in size school-wise. Uh, you know, Eastern, one of those opponents, we play Salem, a 3A school, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I like uh, where our team's at right now. I think tonight is kind of a, a could be a turning point for this team. Um, you know, heading down the stretch in, in after the first of the year. So, 
you know, a big win here tonight. You put yourself in the, the championship game. I think that would go a long way with the confidence of our kids. And, you know, we're starting to see a lot of them come into basketball shape. You know, we talked about Lane Hoffler coming off that injury uh, to the knee. And, and, you know, I think he's starting to get where he typically is. And we got to have a stellar effort out of him tonight. He's going to have his hands full, going to have to play inside quite a bit to help guard Cherry. I think Ian Rosenbaum and Titan Williams are going to be huge in this game too defensively uh, to limit Cherry a little bit. And and then, you know, Eastern's got some other kids that can play. You know, the Temple kid, Caden Temple, I think is probably as well around the kid as there is. Maybe the best defensive player in this tournament. Um, you know, he plays some really solid defense. And I think, you know, he, he really done a good job on Kenton in that first matchup when we played them a couple weeks back. So, you know, we've got to have that kind of effort and we've got to limit their effort here tonight. And uh, we'll see what where, where things land here at the end of the evening. But uh, either way you go, it's a double weekend. It kind of prepares you uh, for things down the stretch because the, the schedule really heats up after the first year. We're going to see a lot of double weekends. and. You know, I, I just love this tournament. I love the atmosphere. It's a sectional type atmosphere. Always a big crowd uh, for these games. And the crowd kind of fouled out a little bit now. Borden had a big crowd here to uh, to cheer on their team. Uh, Southern, you know, always travels pretty well. And uh, you I, know, don't, I don't know that they so much fouled out. I think they're just standing around the well, top. Well, that could they're be. Not, they're moving they're, around. They're, they're maybe, moving around. You know? But you're exactly right. I mean, this is like a sectional atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And boys' sectional is here at home mm -hmm. this year. So it'll be just like a sectional atmosphere. Absolutely. And that's that's the kind of atmosphere that our kids, you know, need to get used to playing in because that's what they're going to see. And I think this tournament is one of those things that's uh, really good for you, you know, when it comes time for that postseason tournament. So, you know, I, I like where we're at right now. I, I just think, you know, you know, Eastern's got some weapons. We're going to have to play here tonight. We're definitely outsized. You know, if they uh, <clears throat> they start, uh, you know, Chariot 6'11", probably the biggest player we'll face all year. They've got a sophomore that I like real well, too, in that Miller kid. Uh, yeah. And he's a big body, 6'8". And then, uh, you know, they go 6'1", 6'2", in Caden Temple. 6'4", in Brody Temple, who usually – has played a lot of minutes with Cherry on the bench as well. So, you know, they, they've got a, a definite height uh, advantage in this game. But, you know, that makes you work on the little things. And I think the little things are things that win you games. And that's what we got to do here tonight. We we got to do the little things right. Can't turn the ball over. Got to rebound well. That's going to be a huge key in this game. Uh, can't give Eastern a bunch of second chance points on the offensive end. We've got to get up on the defensive boards and clean the glass if we're going to have a chance to uh, get out of here with a W. Right, and that's, you know, the, the Senators have all, this group of Senators has always done a good job of boxing out as a team. They're yes. not overly big, they're not overly tall, but they do a good job as a team boxing out. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, I told uh, some of the kids before the game, you know, on our team, I said, you know, you got to get aggressive. Um, you know, here tonight, I think, you know, the team that's got more aggression, especially underneath the basket, you know, rebounding is one of those things that's uh, kind of a lost art. But, you know, if you if you go in there and you box out and you, you do a, a, a rebound the way it should be done, then, uh, you know, you're, you're doing the little things right. And I think that's a big key for us uh, here this evening for sure. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, that's something that they've the, – that this senator team has always done well, and it's a question of can they do it with somebody who's way bigger. I mean, we haven't seen a 6'11". Right, um, and we didn't see him the first game. So, right. you know, that's something that's a little bit different, uh, you know, here tonight in their team. And I, But I do think that changes the dynamic of their team a little bit. You know, they're, uh, they're going to be more of an uh, inside-out team where they're going to try to drive the ball down in the paint and then dish it out for open shots. Whereas when we played them the first time, it was more so, uh, you know, of a, of a shooting team. And we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to get out on their shooters as well. We can't afford for them to, uh, you know, get position in there and double down on Cherry and then lose the shooters in the game. Hey, Casey. We're we're joined by Casey Nash. Actually, yeah. have him come over here. Hey, Casey. Casey. 
we're going to talk to Kaysen a little bit about his game here tonight. But uh, great job in your game. Big victory for your Braves here tonight. Uh, and, and quite an effort from you, 43 points. And uh, it was fun to watch. And it, it just seemed like you were in the zone for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that uh, during the beginning of the game, I couldn't really get many shots off. I wasn't really looking to shoot it. So I drove the ball, got to the free throw line, knew I had eight points, four of them were free throws in the first quarter. So. I knew jump shots were going to fall as soon as I could get one off, and uh, Dad and the coaching staff were telling me shoot the ball, and I got in the gap, and I got in the gap, and I let her fly. Yeah, and they, and they were going down. I I think you could have shot from half court and hit them. There was a few of those where you were back by the volleyball line or deeper, and they were just going in. And you know that's a great effort for you, and you know that's why we wanted to bring you up here and talk to you because you know you don't see too many games where. You know, a kid scores that kind of points and just a great effort by you and your teammates uh, play hard around you. They get you the ball. They knew you were in the zone and uh, they done a good job finding you on those open looks. Yeah, it's just confidence. Get in the gym every day, get up shots, and uh, it's going to it's gonna pay off in the long run, whether it's the next day or two weeks from now or first weekend of March. It don't matter. It's going to pay off as long as you get in the gym. You know, uh, work I, on your game. I watched your dad there on some of those shots. You know, in normal games, he probably would have ripped your rear end for oh, taking yeah. some of those deep threes. But, uh, you know, I know tonight he knew you were in the zone. He knew you had a chance at that record. And, you know, congratulations to you. We just wanted to let you know that because it's a great effort. And uh, I know everybody here enjoyed that. Maybe not Salem as much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's just a great effort and uh, a great game here for you tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow night as well. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Kaysom Nash, 43 points tonight in his game and a great effort uh, by him in that game as the Braves won the first round of this holiday tournament, 67-38. Kaysom, great kid. Yeah, uh, I mean, what more can you say? Come out, light it up, you know, and then humble enough, he, he not only got to us, he got to the um, Eastern radio that's down below us, right. you know, talking to them. You know, just a great kid all around. He is. He, he And just, you know, a kid that grew up in the gym, you know. I mean, and Doc's been at Borden, I don't know how many 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, a long time. 15 and, years. And, you know, Kaysom pretty much, you know, was born in the gym, <laughs> yeah. I think. But, uh, you know, he, he's been around the game. He knows the game well. He's a student of the game. And uh, great effort by him. And uh, congratulations to him and the Braves for getting that first-round victory. And they do a great job of promoting their kids. I mean, he yes. comes over here, and he's got the chain around his neck, you know, yeah. as, as the player of the game, you know. Just a, a great thing that they do to – to promote their kids and, and give their kids something to work for. I mean, and it's going to be hard to get it away from around his neck. I'm sure he wears that oh, yeah. a lot. That's but, a lot of pride in that yeah, hanging but there's, around But there's neck. a lot of those kids on that Borden team that, you know, want want that, want to get that. Absolutely. And and that that's what makes you work hard, you know, you, individual performances. And like he said, he couldn't do it without his teammates. And, uh, you know, they found him tonight. They knew he was in the zone. They knew he was able to throw it up from the volleyball line and, and rip those threes. And, and it showed in that contest. So congratulations to him and the Braves. As we're about ready for this second round game here between the homestanding West Washington Senators and the Eastern Musketeers in this one here tonight. And I tell you, Eastern, another team that I'm kind of close to. I, Ray Weatherford was a guy that, uh, you know, has always been a mentor to me. I, I grew up uh, around Ray in the church. And my brother preached at the church where Ray went for years, and Ray and his wife, which we lost her about a year ago to uh, uh, cancer. And, you know, Ray's just a great quality guy. His son-in-law, Mike Jones, a good friend of mine. That family, just a great family. So this game's a, a, another interesting game for me individually because I, I, I really love the Weatherford family. And, uh, Great basketball family. So here's our starters tonight. They're going to introduce all the non-starters first. Or no, I guess they're going right into the starters maybe. Yeah, I think they are. So they'll start number 10, Caden Anderson. He's a junior at 5'10". Also, uh, Bannett will start at number 23. He's a sophomore at 6 foot. Number 25, Caden Temple will start at 1 forward. He's a junior at 6'2". And Jacob Cherry. In the middle, number uh, 30, as he will wear that here tonight, a senior at 6'11 that we talked about earlier in the game. And then also, uh, I missed one of theirs, but we'll get that number uh, 12, I believe, Caden Gibson. And now for the Senators, Jackson Cameron will start at one guard. 
He'll wear number three. Jackson uh, been playing really well for Coach Sullivan here tonight. Uh, Jackson, a, uh, a junior for the uh, Senators. Number 22, Kenton Chase, will start at the other guard. He is 5'10 and a junior as well. Lane Hoffler, senior, number 20, will start at one forward. He's 6'5 and a senior. Number 12, Ian Rosenbaum. He'll get the start at 6'4 and a junior for Coach Sullivan. And rounding out the starting lineup for the uh, Senators here tonight, Mason Cox, six foot and uh, a uh, senior as well. So uh, great uh, lineup here. Coach Sullivan uh, ready to get this thing underway here as we get this uh, contest started here this evening. What a great atmosphere. I mean, starting lineups, lights down, spotlight going. Yeah, oh yeah, it's great, great atmosphere. Yeah, big game, what what more could you ask for here? Number 12, Caden Gibson, the other starter for the Musketeers, a senior at 5'11 for uh, Coach Weatherford's Eastern Musketeers. So we'll jump it up here. Cherry will go against Lane Hoffler in the center. Lane will control the tip, actually. Gets it into the backcourt to Ian Rosenbaum, and here we go. Kenton Chase will bring it up for the Senators as he'll bring it up across the timeline. He'll go here on the near wing to Hoffler. Inside it goes to Rosenbaum. Ian will spin around there at the free throw line, trying to get it to Kenton. Can't find him, and a five second call. So a turnover there early for the Senators and uh, Eastern will get the ball back here. Ian just trying to find the open man there and couldn't get it to Kenton. So the Musketeers will bring it up. Temple to bring it across the timeline. Caden will bring it here to the near side. Flips it back out high to Bannett. Now back over here to Temple. Temple looking, kind of a boxing one, kind of a two, three zone like we've seen the Senators play all year. They'll go down low to Cherry. He'll spin, throw up a runner, can't get it. Temple with the rebound, kicks it out for the three ball, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Ian Rosenbaum, 23, Bannett with that three. Up quickly to Mason Cox, he'll drive inside on Cherry, gets it blocked, and that'll be a turnover to the Musketeers. Caden Temple will bring it up, kicks it back out, it'll go to Anderson, now back over to Temple on the far wing. Temple with it, kicks it back out high, it'll come to Gibson, now back over here to Anderson. Anderson back to Gibson on the far side. Gibson looking inside, back to Anderson, now they find Temple, free throw line, he dishes to Cherry. Cherry will spin, throw up a runner, can't get it to go, rebound Hoffman. Neither team able to get it in the bucket. Up quickly to Mason Cox, back to Kenton Chase. Ch uh, Kenton will slow it down here a little bit for the Senators. He'll kick it far side to Jackson Cameron. Cameron out to Cox. Mason with it, off to Hoffler. That's a little bit of a mismatch there. Hoffler now to Cameron, wide open three, and he nailed it. That's what we need out of Jackson Cameron. We need him knocking down threes. Quick timeout here by Coach Weatherford. He's seen something he didn't like here. So he takes one here, a 30-second one here with 6.24 to go in this first quarter of play. He, reali he realizes this is a game of runs. Oh, and yeah. You don't want West Washington to jump out quick with, with a three-pointer right off the bat. Um, you know, Maybe not by Kent Chase, not by Lane Hofler, but, you know, by Jackson Cameron. You don't want somebody else getting hot. It's hard enough to stop those two. If you got to stop a third, that's a whole different ball game. And I think maybe he heard what I said. I think we had a mismatch there with Lane uh, going against uh, Anderson. And when he drove in the lane, Jackson come around, was wide open for the three. Lane found him and knocked it down. And I think that's what Coach Weatherford was telling his team, hey, you got to get out on their shooters. Right. You can't leave their shooters open because if they start hitting them, you're going to be in trouble. So three to nothing, Senators. Caden Temple will bring it up quickly. Gets it over to Bannett. Now back to Temple, far side, as they get it off to Gibson. Now over to Anderson, back out to Temple. Temple back to Anderson, far wing. Goes down on the baseline to Cherry, back out to Temple. Temple looking now, finds a guy in the corner. That's Anderson. He looks at the three, back out to Temple. Now over to Bannett in the corner. It'll go to Gibson. He'll drive. Baseline kicks it out to Temple. Caden will pull it down now. Goes far side to Anderson. Good defense here by the Senators in that zone. Bannon will shoot another three off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Hoffler. And off to Kenton Chase. Kenton will bring it up for the Senators. He'll get it across the timeline. Temple picks him up there. He gets it off the lane here on the near wing. Out to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down. Shoot a deep three. And, ooh, in and out. Couldn't get it to go. Cherry rips the board down for the Musketeers. Back the other way now. Temple brings it up. Gets it across the timeline. Far side to Bannett. Now out here to Anderson. In the corner. It'll go. Gibson will shoot the three. Off the mark. Rebound. Nice job inside by Ian Rosenbaum. 
and he'll pull it down and now they're for the Senators. Three to nothing, West Washington here, 5-11 to go in the first quarter. Kenton Chase far side. And a whistle here for something. Oh, had a little kid run across the floor. <laughs> they had to stop it there. He got a little bit uh, anxious and just ran right across the center floor. Did you see that? <laughs> that is uh, Alex Lawrence's son uh, over there, I okay. believe. Alex, control your kid. <laughs> That's, okay. a, that's a first. I've never seen that. Oh, one. yeah. He ran right across the floor. wonder Cherry didn't step on him. <laughs> They'll hand it off now to Mason Cox. He'll get it to Lane. Three ball in the air. Ooh, can't get it. Ian with the rebound. Rosenbaum pulls it down. Back to Cameron. Back over to Lane. Hoffler with it. Now off to Kenton Chase. Kenton off to Cameron. Jackson Cameron. Anderson on him. Out to Mason Cox. Inside it goes. Tipped out to Cameron. Back to Mason. He looks at a three. Now he'll shoot it. And he can't get it to go. Anderson with the rebound for the Musketeers. He's up quickly with it. Brings it up. This is Temple. Now to Gibson. Inside it goes to Cherry. He'll spin and score and one as he gets fouled. I'm not quite sure who they're going to get that on. There were three Senators there, and yeah. all three of them fouled him. So, Yeah, they had to smack at him. When he gets the ball down low there, you, there's not much. Yeah, you're there's gonna not much you're going to be able to do. Titan Williams will check in for West Washington. As Cherry will go to the line, that foul is going to be called against Ian Rosenbaum, his first, team's first here. Cherry with a chance to tie this thing up, and he does as he knocks down the uh, free throw. So it's 3-3 three to three here. Kenton Chase will bring it up for the Senators. Crosses the timeline, gets it off to Mason Cox here in their wing. Cox with it, looking inside, finds Titan Williams, who checked in. Now over to Cameron, off to Kenton Chase. Kenton. Drives, dishes, out to Hoffler, deep three ball again, boom! And he nails it as Lane knocks it down from deep. And the Senators up six to three now, two three balls for the Senators to start this game. Temple to bring it up for the Musketeers. He'll cross the timeline, dribbles near side, now kicks it out high to Bannock. Far side, it'll go to Weininger, who checked into the game. And they're gonna call a foul against Cherry, I believe he was backing down on Mason Cox. Well, they're, on the other end, Mason's getting 15 feet from Cherry. You know, Cherry's not gardening. Right. And then on this end, everybody's gardening Cherry. Oh, yeah, they're so. up in his grill, and you got to do that. That's going to be the pressure that you need. So that one goes against Cherry, his first personal. Off to Cameron now, inside another foul. As they reach over the top, that one's going to be called on Bannett, I believe, as he goes over uh, Cameron. So the second team foul, and the Senators will inbound on the far side across from us here. Titan Williams to throw it in for West Washington. He'll throw it in the backcourt. It'll come into Kenton Chase. Kenton bring it up for West Washington. Crosses the timeline. And he'll look as he goes on the attack now. Far side looking inside. Gets it out to Williams. Titan gets it stolen from him. Titan's going to grab yeah, a hold. Titan had to grab a hold of uh, Anderson. Had a run out there. And that's going to go against Titan. His first team second. That's one of those fouls you can't be mad yeah. at him for because he was going to break away. So. Yeah, it was just aggression there, and he reached out and got a hold of him, but uh, probably not a bad play, not a bad foul at all. Caden Temple bringing it across the timeline. He'll set it up here for the Musketeers. He'll kick it out to Bannett. Bannett dribbles out top, now to Temple. Back out to Bannett, far side. Anderson will shoot the deep three off the mark. Rebound Williams. Titan goes up high, gets it off to Kenton. Kenton with it. He'll dish it back to Hoffler. He'll drive in the lane now. It's stolen by Anderson. Anderson will bring it up quickly. Jackson Cameron on him. Reverse layup. And he got it to go. Nice move. Nice spin move. Yeah, he, he, he went to the hole all the way. And 6-5 to five now. Senator. Kenton Chase to bring it up here. 2.47 to go here in this first quarter of play. Kenton gets, picks up his dribble. Gets it off to Cameron. Now out high to Williams. Titan off to Hoffler. Now back over to Kenton. Chase with it, wheels around, goes in the lane, pulls up a runner, and got it to roll. That's, that's what Kenton's that's what got we need to do. out of Kenton. We need him to be able to knock down that runner down the lane. You know, if he can knock that down, that opens up everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Eight to five Senators. Temple with it. He'll bring it across the timeline. Two three zone by the Senators once again. They'll go baseline to Cherry, back out to Temple. Temple with it, looking in the corner. Now finds Bannett. Now inside to Cherry. He'll spin, goes up strong, got it. Yeah, that's what they need to do with Cherry. Oh, <laughs> They're yeah. going to put him in the post and make somebody Eight you know, really seven. work. Yep, absolutely. So the Senators back the other way now. Kenton Chase hands it off to Cox. 
Mason spins around, drives inside, dishes. Cameron baseline shot, got it. Jackson gets his fifth point. 10 to seven now, back to a three point lead. West Washington with 140 to go here in the first quarter. Caden Temple with it, off to Anderson, back to Temple. Temple dribbles far side, kicks it over to Bannett, back to Temple. He'll go back over to Bannett, now inside to Cherry baseline. He'll spin, kicks it out, Temple. He'll drive, jump stop, kicks it out. Weininger with the three, off the mark, no good. Rebound, Cameron. And Jackson brings it up quickly, now holds it up. Now he drives again, goes in strong, throws up a runner, can't get it. Rebound inside by Cox. He gets it blocked, and Temple comes out of the pack with it. Caden Temple the other way for the Musketeers. Drives, goes to the hole strong, and got it to go. That is super tough to defend when yeah. you're having to well, defend used, the whole court. He used, and that's what Temple does. He used both hands very well there. Went to his left, come back to his right, put up the one-hander, got it to fall. Ten to nine. Senators here, and looks like West Washington going to hold maybe. Kenton Chase off to Cox, back to Kenton, far side to Cameron. He'll go down to Williams, tighten with it, back out to Jackson, now to Kenton. Chase with it, gets it off to Cameron, inside to Williams. He'll dish it back out to Kenton. 30 seconds now, off to Cameron. Cameron gets it kicked out of bounds by Bannett. So it'll go back to the Senators, and two subs for West Washington. Ian uh, Rosenbaum will check back in, and Grayson McCoy will come in as well for the Senators as the Musketeers check in number 24, Chris Terry. Kent Chase in the backcourt with it, gets it off to Grayson. Grayson, ooh, close pass, gets it off to Williams. Williams pulls it down, gets it back to Kenton, back to Titan. Titan trapped in the corner now, gets it down to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum back out to Titan, now to Kenton. 12 seconds, Kenton looking, gets it off to Rosenbaum, far wing. Ian trapped there, gets it in the corner. Hoffler will shoot a three, and bam! What a shot there by Lane. He nails his second three-pointer, and it's 13-9, to nine, and that's the end of the first quarter. Fast and furious here at West Washington. A great start for the Senators. Uh, you know, last time in the first quarter, they were I believe they were down six at the end of the first one. Right. You know, this time they're up four. It, it's super hard to beat a team – two times in a year, especially oh, yeah. two times within two weeks. Well, it's a different look, and that's what I was trying to say in the pregame. You know, with Cherry on the floor, they're a little slower. You know, I mean, they just are because they're looking to dish, paint inside out, and uh, we've done a good job limiting him a little bit. He's got, you know, five of their uh, nine, but uh, we only got two other uh, shots up by Temple and Anderson. So uh, Senators just got to uh, keep doing what they're doing. They've done a nice job defensively and a great job on the board here in this first quarter. I'm sure, uh, is J.D. doing the stats this game? No, nope, he is not. Yeah, I don't think he is. But at the same time, you know, you would expect to have Cherry dominate the boards, and he hasn't been able to get there because the Senators have done a good job of blocking him right. out, keeping him off the boards. That's where Cherry is going to want to make his living. He's going to want to be underneath the bucket, getting, you know, easy rebounds and going back up, being 6'11", 6'10", 6'11". You know, he's able to do that. Yeah. And if you keep him out from under there, he's not as dominant. Still a super dominant player. I mean, he's still going to get his points, no doubt. Oh, yeah. And we saw that with Mason Cox that one time. He boxed him out and then Cherry, you know, kind of chucked him uh, up into the bleachers there. So Eastern will get the ball to start this second quarter. They'll inbound as uh, number 12 Gibson will kick it into Temple. Temple far side to Anderson, back out to Temple. He'll drive, now kicks it. Goes back in the corner there to Gibson, back to Temple, back to Gibson. Gibson looking, now to Temple, far side it goes to Anderson. Back over here to Temple, he'll pull it down and shoot a deep three, and he got it. Can't let him get hot no, either. Nope, he burned us the first game. Um, I believe he had 24. Yeah, 13 to 12 now, so just a one-point game here. It's kind of been that way all throughout the contest so far. Kenton Chase with it, far wing for the Senators. He'll drive, looks in the corner, can't get it to Lane, so he'll kick it to Titan. Now over to McCoy, back out high, it comes to Kenton. Chase with it, gets it off to Rosenbaum, far side. Ian, back out to uh, McCoy there. He'll get it off to Kenton. Now over to Ian, wide open three, and he can't get it to go down. It bounces up high. And the rebound pulled down by Anderson. He'll get it off to uh, Temple. 
Temple with it, back to Anderson. He'll shoot a deep three ball. Look good from here, can't get it to go. Rebound by Terry. He loses it on the floor, battle for it. And I believe we're gonna have a jump ball called that's, as Ian got on it. That's where the Senators struggle on those long yes. rebounds. If yep. they're, if they're, you know, under the bucket and, you know, they're coming out of their zone and they're rebounding from there, they're able to control those boards, but it's those long yep. rebounds that you got to chase. That well, that one took a bounce, them. and then Terry just happened to be there. Then yeah. the ball went on the floor. We kind of knocked it away from him, but tied him up. So Senators will get it back here uh, as we uh, go back into play. Kenton Chase with it far side. Now he drives, beats everybody to the hole, gets cut off by Cherry, kicks it out to Hoffman. Lane pulls it down, and he'll reset for the Senators, gets it off to Kenton. Kenton. Top of the circle, looking, gets it off to Rosenbaum here. In, inside, goes to tight. Williams drives, goes in strong, puts it up, can't get it. As Cherry was uh, over the top of him there, and he'll pull down the board, gets it up quickly to Terry. Now back out to Anderson. Anderson, far side to Temple. Temple now inside to Cherry. He'll spin, kicks it out to Bannett. Now back out to Anderson, to Terry. Terry, back to Anderson. And they'll reset the offense here. He'll go far side to Temple. Temple looking back out to Anderson. He pulls it down. Now back to Temple. Goes in the corner to Gibson. Back out to Temple. Caden with it now. Back out to Anderson. Now to Terry. Terry looking down low. Can't find Cherry baseline. And they're going to get Kenton for the foul as he went over the top of Temple. That's not a foul that Kenton needs to pick up. That's not a spot where you got to worry about, you know, Deflecting the ball, right. you can you can just play good defense there. His first foul, the team's uh, third, as uh, Titan Williams and uh, McCoy will go to the bench as uh, Mason Cox and Cameron back in the game for the Senators. They'll go in the corner to Temple. He'll pull it down. Now kicks it back out high to Bannett, who's back in the game over there to Gibson. Far side, it comes to Bannett here. He looks, kicks it back out to Anderson. Two-three zone working pretty well for the Senators. He'll kick it back out to Anderson. He'll drive, now kicks it, goes to Gibson. Now he throws it in the backcourt. That's gonna be a turnover against the Musketeers and that's what good defense does for you. 13 to 12, uh, second turnover by the Musketeers here in this first half of play. Senators up one, 13-12. They'll inbound, it'll come into Kenton Chase. Kenton with the basketball. He'll pull it down, now goes and looks. Goes on the attack, gets it to Cox. Mason kicks it back out to Hoffler, deep three ball, and ooh, that looked good, but it went in and out. Anderson pulls down the board, up quickly to Bannett. Bannett drives and throws up a wild shot, but he's gonna get bailed out. I didn't think there was much contact. <laughs> I think he, he lost his footing yeah. as he was going. That's gonna be called on Jackson Cameron, his first, team's fourth. This is where the Senators have to really step up their game, and Cherry's not on the floor, so now, we actually have the tallest player on the floor with Lane Hopler. Right. So, you know, hopefully we can get something going with, with him and get some points. And we're going to go even bigger. We're going to check in. Oh, no, we're going to stay the same height. We're going to bring Lane out and bring Titan in. Yeah, they're giving him a little spell. Now here comes Cherry back. So Bannett will have another free throw, but they're going to let Cherry back into the game first. He'll check in. He'll come in for Gibson as Bannett missed that first uh, free throw, so he'll step back up there for another one. Second one's in the air, and it's good. So he ties the game up here, 13 all. Senators still looking for their first bucket here in this second quarter. They bring it up, Kenton Chase off to Titan Williams. Titan looking, now finds Cameron off to Kenton far side. Kenton out to Mason Cox. Cox to Cameron, now down low it goes to Titan. Titan with it, drives in there, now kicks it back out to Kenton. Kenton will reset. 4.27 to go here in the first half, 13 all. Titan Williams with it, looking. Now he finds Cox. Cox off to Kenton, Chase with it. Now goes on the attack, spins there at the free throw line, gets cut off, goes Titan Williams baseline. Titan, jump stop, out to Cox, he drives, kicks to Ian. Rosenbaum back to Williams, now to Cameron. Cameron drives around, kicks to Rosenbaum. He loses it, but he gets it back to Kenton. Chase will spin, and a push going to be called against gonna Temple. Going to get a foul called there. Yep, that's going to go against Temple. 
It's his first. Team's third. So neither team in really any foul trouble no. here. Kenton will inbound to Jackson. Wide open. Three ball. Bam. And that's what Jackson's got to do as he nails another one, his second of the night. He's got eight points to lead the Senators in scoring. He's got half of their 16. 16 to three now. Temple back the other way. This is off to Anderson. Anderson out high to Terry. Now to Bannett. Inside it goes to Temple. He loses it. Able to pick it back up. Gets it to Bannett. Back to Temple. Back out to Bannett. Three ball off the mark. And the rebound tipped out of bounds on Terry. It'll go back to the Senators. Nice job there by the yeah. Senators in Ian. that 2-3 zone. Ian playing really strong in the middle. And then Mason Cox on this wing covering everything. The, the Jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah. So here comes Hoffler back. He'll check in at the next break here. Kenton Chase will bring it up for the Senators. Off to Cameron. Back over to Kenton. <coughs> Excuse me. Kenton far side. Looking. Gets it in the corner to Cameron. He'll step back out of the uh, oh, air ball. Couldn't get that one. Just a little off the mark. And the rebound by Anderson. Well, Terry jumped at him and then... Yeah. Um, Bannett with it. Far side to Anderson. Inside to Cherry. He'll spin and gets fouled. As Titan Williams got a hand on him. Pretty good defense, though. I thought he was on top of him there. That's he, going to go reached. against Titan, his second. He reached late. Shouldn't just should have been there with his hands up. He was on the backside anyway, so he wasn't going to do any. It wasn't going to help at all, you know, doing that. So Cherry at the line. His first free throws up off the back of the rim. No good. Lane comes in and gets Titan Williams. Yeah, Titan with those two fouls has to go to the bench here, but uh, I believe Lane was coming in for him anyway. Yeah. Cherry will get another free throw as he missed the first one off the back of the rim. Second one coming now. It's in the air off the front of the rim. No good. Lane with the rebound. So Cherry misses both at the stripe, and it's still 16-13 Senators with 2.52 to go here in this first half. Kenton Chase with it. Gets it off the lane. Hoffler with it. That's a mismatch. He drives on Weininger, goes up strong, can't get it to go off the glass. Rebound Cherry. Back to Anderson. He'll bring it up quickly. Gets it off to Bannett. Bannett back to Anderson. He'll drive, looks, and he carried it. Sure yeah. did. Turnover <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't make that move yeah, without he, a carry. That's got to be he one. He pulled that thing over, and he wanted to pass it. Yeah. And uh, we stepped in the passing lane. He couldn't do it, so he turns it over. 16-13, 2.28 to go here in the first half. Kent Chase to bring it up, crosses the timeline. He'll dish it off to Hoffer. Lane to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down, free throw line, banks it in. The bank is still open in yeah, Campbellsburg. Is. So he nails it. And it's 18-13, the biggest lead of the night for the Senators at five. Anderson with it. Looked again, almost yeah, turned almost it over again. again. Gets it off to Weininger, out high to Anderson. Inside it goes to Temple. He'll pull it down. Free throw line tipped away. Nice job there by Kenton. And another steal by the Senators as they get a chance here to build on this five-point lead. Kenton brings it across the timeline. He'll set it up now. 147 to go here in this first half of play. Senators 18, Musketeers 13. Kenton with it. Gets it off to Cameron. Jackson wheels around. Gets it tipped away from him. Over to Kenton. Back to Jackson. Now back to Kenton. Kenton goes on the attack, drives, dishes, Cameron, three ball. Can't get that one to go. Ian tips it out to Chase. Now back to Cameron. Off to Kenton. Kenton drives, kicks it out to Mason Cox. Mason down the lane, goes in strong. He gets hammered as Bannett's going to pick up the foul, I believe. As Cherry come over to try to block that, but Bannett pushed him. And that will be oh, Bannett's second foul. Team's fifth, but that'll put Cox at the line. Mason looking for his first points here tonight. So he'll step up there for a couple free throws. Mason goes about two rows deep into the, to the uh, Salem cheer section. Some, some sixth grade boys over <laughs> there that he went into. Yeah, good thing they was there to kind of break his fall. Yeah. He missed the first one. He'll get another one here. Second free throw coming. Mason. At the line, second one's up, and it rims out Cherry with the rebound, so he can't get either free throw to go. And back the other way for the Musketeers. Temple with it, drives, kicks it over the far side to Anderson. Anderson looking, now off to Bannett. Bannett inside the Temple. He'll spin on Hoffler, goes in, blocked by Lane. Big block there as Lane gets it back from Cameron. 
Lane now on the attack, looking, gets it out to Cameron, out to Kenton. Kenton pulls it down, backs up, and he'll reset the offense here with 45 seconds to go here in the first half. This is a much slower paced oh, yeah. game than the first time when they played. And I'm telling you, I think a lot of that has to do with their personnel. They can't get up and down as much as they did without Cherry in the game because just, you know, they, they sacrifice that speed for the height. Kenton on the attack now, 25 seconds off to Cameron, back to Kenton. Tempo on him. He'll pull it down, looks. 16 seconds now, 15. Now he goes on the attack down the lane, finds Rosenbaum, he drives and Cherry blocks it out of bounds. But they had the right idea. Hey, That's what we'll you take that do. every time. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're going to drive and Cherry's going to block it and it goes out of bounds, you still retain the ball. Yep. So you're five seconds, though. Ugh. You're going to have to uh, get it in and get up a shot quickly here. They'll get it in. It'll come in to Kenton. Kenton on the attack. Dishes. Cox with the three ball. Got it. He banks it in. Bank is still opening Hamilton. I thought it closed, but apparently not. 21 to 13. And a great half there for the Senators as they got some threes to fall. Uh, Mason Cox with that one there at the buzzer. And the Senators open up the lead here as they lead it at the half. 21 to 13. Just let uh, the uh, Musketeers get four points in that quarter. Yeah. So a great job defensively. And I tell you, I said that in the pregame. I think our solid uh, five or six, seven rotation is uh, really strong and we do a good job with that and when they're playing together like that it's hard to stop so oh, we're yeah. going to take a break we'll add things up from the first half and come back here on your home for senator sports west washington live stream and wwsr in 2012 the washington county community foundation began working on its next big initiative education matters the goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Commissioner, holiday time. Lots of tournaments, lots of uh, one-day extravaganzas, irrespective of the sports. And so, you know, it's going to be one of those kinds of times where people are just having as much fun as they can. And you're out there having fun. And one of the things we remind people is when you go to a game, sportsmanship is a real thing, and we'd like to see it because these are officials who aren't full-time. They're not uh, doing this for a living. They're doing this to make an extra buck and to help kids have some fun. So I want to underscore how important that is for everybody involved. I think that's exactly right, Coach. And, you know, I, often for me, perspective comes to mind when I think about officials and when you look about the parents, the student athletes, the coaches, uh, the fans. Uh, and it's about keeping perspective of what, what we're trying to do uh, in an environment the student athletes get to grow up in. And, you know, officials don't make a primary living as a, a, a uh, and as a matter of fact, they really only make gas money in a lot of places, you know, less than $100 to officiate a varsity basketball contest. But they choose to do that because the game really meant something to them at some point in their lives. And, you know, they want to give back. And, you know, a lot of our ex-athletes, former players, former coaches even out officiating for us now. And, and they just want to do it so kids can have an opportunity to play just like they were able to do uh, many years ago in many cases. So, you know, perspective is so important when we look at games that, that kids play. Well, I think we, we take it way too personally. I think we forget this simple concept that everybody in between those black lines, everybody along the side, scores, bench, benches, all that other stuff, everyone on the court, everyone on the benches, everyone at the scores table will make a mistake. Everyone will make one. Uh, hopefully not very many, but they'll make one. Coaches will make mistakes. Kids will make mistakes. Timer will hit the wrong button. Score will get the wrong uh, the wrong player. Officials, yes, they make mistakes. They, they really, really do. And since we're trying to be teaching kids lessons, we don't want the lesson to be that when things don't go your way, you go ballistic and act like an idiot. Not to, you know, maybe cut to the chase there. That's one thing we're not trying to teach. We're trying to teach how to understand and accept problems as they come and adjust and do the best you can. Well said, Coach. You know, it's just so important to keep that in, in mind. And, and it is about adjusting. It's about learning the life lessons. You know, one of the things I often try to say is, you know, when you think about sport, we have a game that we all love, whether it's whatever it is that we offer, but it's it was officiated by human beings, created by human beings, played by human beings, coached by human beings, and watched mm-hmm. by human mm-hmm. beings. And, 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 and I often say only one perfect person walked this earth, and my mom's not sure. officiating tonight. So <laughs> you know, we need to make sure that we keep it all in perspective along the way and understand that human beings are the imperfect much as we try not to be, but they are, and then mistakes are made. Well, the issue nowadays is you uh, at the association find it very, very difficult to find uh, the right number of officials. You're compromised in terms of football and basketball tournaments because you're, you're literally running out of officials to officiate these kinds of events. That, that's exactly right, Coach. And, and you know, and so far we're, we're working hard to get more officials in, and you can go to our website at IHSAA.org and sign up to become official, and we love people when they do that. But, you know, regionally uh, we have some real shortages in the state. You know, if you go to the northwest uh, corner of the state of Indiana, we have a, a real struggle to get football officials. In other places it may be track and field or soccer. And, you know, it's still um, – you know, there are still areas where we have a lot of officials. Uh, we still have a lot of basketball officials in the state, but we can always use one more. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA. It's Paul Nighting. This is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA related. Commissioner, holidays here. Have a happy holiday. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, best of luck to everybody involved with the IHSAA. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
All right, welcome back here live to West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court. Kudos to Ron as well. He's oh, yeah. controlling He's back, in back the there in the hospitality room. Hospitality. Yeah, that's a good place to be. I was back there earlier, but. I won't tell you who the first one through the line was, but he's sitting right next to you. <laughs> yeah. 21 to 13 Senators here with the uh, halftime lead. As a great first half for West Washington. I don't think he could have played it any better and give uh, Coach Sullivan and his staff a, a great effort here defensively against the uh, Musketeers. I mean, they've held them down. Uh, Cherry and Temple both have uh, five points apiece. So they've got 10 of their 13, and that's what we talked about. we got to limit everybody else. Those two guys are going to get theirs a little bit. And then we've got balanced scoring. Jackson Cameron leads all scores with eight. Lane Hofler with uh, six. Uh, Mason Cox hit that three at the buzzer. He's got three. And then Ian and Kenton both with two apiece to give Senators 21 of their uh, points here in this first half. So. And this is probably the game plan that the Senators came out with oh, the absolutely. first time when they thought they were going to have Cherry. Yes. And then 20 minutes before they come out, they find out Cherry's not, not playing. playing. Yeah. You know, so they've had time. They've practiced this. They know this is what they have to do. And they've executed wonderfully in the first half. The question is, can they do it for the next you know, for the Just, next half or the yeah. next two quarters. And I know Coach Weatherford, he, he's going to make changes, and I'm sure he did at the half here. They're, they're going to try to push the ball down low, I believe, to Cherry go more so baseline. But our our 2 3 zones give them fits, and uh, they've struggled with it. So we'll start the third quarter, second half. Senators 21, Musketeers 13. The Musketeers will get it to start. Anderson over to Gibson. Now back out high to Anderson, over here to Bannett. Back out high, now in the corner it goes. They get it down low to Cherry baseline. He spins, throws it up, no good. Cameron with the rebound there. You're so, exactly right. They went down low yep. to Cherry. That's right where they're the going to go, I can about guarantee you. So Kent and Chase will bring it up for the Senators. Just got to make every possession count. We get it off to Cox. Mason with it, free throw line. Now out to Hoffler. He'll spin, he gets fouled. Yep, so he's going to go uh, to the line maybe. No, they may call that on the floor. So that... Don't be he called can, against number <laughs> 12. Lane can look so out of control, but still be in control the whole yeah. time. He, his arms and legs kind of go everywhere, but he's still in control. It's amazing. Foul on Gibson, his first. Team's first here in the second half. Lane to inbound. He'll throw it out high to Kenton. Tipped away from him by Bannett with the steal. He'll drive. Now dish to Temple. Goes in strong. Can't get it, but he's fouled. So that was just kind of a break there. Senators uh, making a bad pass inbounds. And... Uh, we have to foul him to keep him from getting an easy bucket. Mason Cox picking up his first personal, the team's first. Lane is not happy because that was not the play that was called. Right. They didn't run the play, apparently, and Lane's trying to throw it in on a play that was supposed to be run that wasn't. We didn't move uh, towards the basket. Everybody went backwards out towards the uh, half-court line. Temple at the line, first free throw up is good, so he scores his sixth point of the night and draws it to a seven point game here, 21 to 14. He'll get another one here as he steps back up there to the line. And he misses the second one, but got his own rebound. Nope, and Rosenbaum gets hit in the face by Temple. So that's gonna be a foul on Caden. That'll be his second. I think it was it was both. It, yeah. Temple got him and then the ball got him too, so he got hit in the face twice. But Ian, uh, he, he goes to the bench here. He got hammered in the yeah. mouth there as uh, Titan will check in for him. I'm not so sure his nose isn't bleeding at the moment. Yeah, I believe it is a little bit. So they'll work on that. 21-14 uh, as Temple gets one of the two free throws to pull him within seven. And the Senators will bring it up. A little half-court trap coming here. They get it to Kenton. Kenton off to Hoffler. Hoffler finds Jackson. He pulls up, looks, now kicks it back out to Kenton, far side to Lane. Lane with it, out high as they extend their defense out to Titan, now over to Kenton. They try to trap him, he goes in the middle of the lane, he'll pull it down, throws up a runner, can't get it, had to throw it up high over Cherry. Rebound Temple out quickly to Bannett. He'll drive baseline, crosses over, goes in, can't get it. Jackson Cameron with the rebound. Off to Kenton, Kenton now up quickly, gets it to Titan. Titan drives, jump step, Cherry fouls him. With the body, yeah, he was off the uh, off his feet there, and he gets him uh, on, over the top. Oh, they're going to get oh, 23, they got, Bannett. They got Bannett. That's his third, so he may have to come out here. Titan will go to the line. 
First free throw is up, and it's hard off the back of the glass as he shot that one a little strong. Terry will come in now for Bannett with those three fouls. And Titan will go back to the stripe here for his second free throw. Second one looked a lot better, but it's short off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Cherry. Up quickly to Terry. He'll go baseline. Gets cut off. Kicks it out to Temple. Temple with it. Back to Terry. Looking inside. Back to Temple. Temple goes off to Anderson. Far wing. Anderson in the corner. Now to Gibson. Cross court out to Terry. He'll pull it down. Goes over to Anderson. Deep three ball up. And he can't get it. Has a rebound by Terry. Back out to Temple. Temple now pulls it down. And he'll get a second chance here. Looks inside to Cherry, can't get it to him. Now they throw it down in there. He'll go back door and loses it. Hoffler with the steal, gets it off to Cox. Now to Kenton. Kenton up quickly. Cameron shoots a three ball, bam, and he got it. Jackson Cameron on fire here. Lighting it up tonight. As he gets uh, his third three-pointer of the game, he's got 10 in this game. Or no, he's got 11. Inside pass, throw it away. Musketeers turn it over. So 24 to 14, out to a 10 point lead, the biggest of the night. Bandit will come back in as he'll check in for Gibson. And the Senators will inbound here. Hoffler to throw it in. He'll get it in to Kent. Chase will bring it up for the Senators. And looks like the Musketeers gonna go to that half court trap again. Kent will bring it across, gets it to Lane Hoffler. Lane. Now out to Titan. Titan way out high on the floor. Gets it back to Kenton. Kenton. Temple on him. Gets it off to Cameron. Now inside to Titan. He gets it out to Cox. Now back out to Lane. Hoffler pulls it back out. He'll reset. Goes over to Cameron. Cameron looking now. Can't find anybody. Gets it off to Cox. Mason with it. Over to Lane. He pulls it down. Shoots the three. In and out. Can't get it. Cherry with the rebound. As he pulls it down, and Anderson back the other way. Gets it up quickly to Bannett, and he'll get fouled on the floor. I believe they're going to get Titan again. I think they are too. Titan was right there and had his hands all over him. That's so. his third. So him and Bannett both on the floor. Ian coming back in. Now he got that uh, nose uh, taken care of. Cherry will shoot a rare three off the mark. Rebound by Kenton Chase. Kenton pulls it down out of there. 24-14 up to Cameron. He looked at another three. Yeah, Boy, he, he was thought thinking about, about it. it. <laughs> but he pulls it down. Cherry kind of stepped out there, and that kind of made him I'm, rethink that. I'm sure Coach Sullivan was yeah. in his ear, too. <laughs> Cameron pulls it down. The back to Kenton. Kenton. Dribbles far side. Looks. Nothing there. Gets it off to Titan Williams. Titan. He'll hold it out high. They just stand there and hold it. I would. You yeah, got a 10-point lead. You don't lead. have to go. Now he goes on the attack. Comes inside and got it. Good move there by Titan. 26 to 14. Caden Temple back the other way. Now out high to him again. Now off to Anderson. Inside to Cherry. He'll spin. And Lane with a block. Gets it to Titan. Now to Kenton up quickly to Cox. Stolen there by Bannett. And he loses it out of bounds. It'll go back to West Washington. They say it went off Anderson. Ian Rosenbaum will check back in for Titan with those three fouls as he'll go to the bench. Senators with a chance to build on this 12-point lead. Rosenbaum to inbound for West Washington. He'll throw it in the backcourt to Kenton. Kenton will bring it across. 4.05 to go here in the third quarter. 26-14 Senators. He'll go off the lane. Hoffler with it. Now it gets tipped and a steal. So a turnover there by the Senators as Cherry get, comes up with it, gets it to Temple. Temple exactly, back to Anderson. That was exactly yep. what the Musketeers wanted. Bannett with a three ball, no good. Rebound Rosenbaum. He pulls it down, gets it to Kenton. Kenton brings it up, crosses the timeline, goes baseline, and it's kicked out of bounds. So it'll go back to West Washington. The Senator ball on the baseline, out of bounds underneath our own bucket here. Lane to throw it in. They try to get it in, then get it back to Lane, and they go out to Cameron, now to Chase. Now in the corner it goes to Hoffler, back out to Kent. Kent Chase moves around, out high. He'll set, now gets it off to Cameron. He'll shoot another deep three. That one off to Mark Cox with the rebound, back up, blocked by Cherry though. And Terry pulls it down and out of there. 
Mason Cox on hand. They get it up quickly. Anderson to Temple. Temple looking, flips it out to Terry. Now in the corner it'll go. Bannett with another three ball, and he hits that one. Twenty-six seventeen, down to a nine-point lead here. Two fifty-nine to go in this third quarter. Kenton with it up to Lane. Hoffler gets it in the corner to Cox. Mason out high to Kenton. Chase goes baseline to Rosenbaum. He gets cut off there. Now goes on the dribble. Had a man open under the bucket and they missed him. Cox is open. Lane will drive. Goes in strong, one-handed. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Terry, and they get a tripping foul on Cherry, I believe. Yeah, he tripped Mason Cox, and Mason went to the floor hard. So that'll be Cherry's second. Coach Sullivan going to take a timeout yeah, here. It's just timeout. Just get settle down. Settle everybody down. Get them back under control. Don't lose. Don't lose anything here. Don't lose this lead that yes. you've built so much. You know, on a six-point run by Eastern to come back and get in this game. If you if you hold and keep doing what you're doing, you're yeah. going to be just fine. It's well, got, I think we sped up, and Eastern would rather yeah, speed the that, game Yeah, and up. that's what that trap is all designed yes. for, it's to speed us up, yes. where you don't want to be sped up. You mm -hmm. want to keep playing that slow pace that works so well. And that was the nice thing about having Titan out there on the floor. Yes. Cherry wasn't going to guard him within no. 20 feet. So just let him stand there. Let him hope. stand there. Yeah. He, can, he can stand there, and then as soon as they came, that's when Titan went right by him. Right. And he can, that's what I said with Cherry in the game, they're a slower team. And, you know, we've seen that when, when Titan just blew around him and got the easy layup. Lane almost done the same thing. Yeah. Shot didn't go. Mason Cox was there. And then uh, Cherry tipped it away from him, blocked it, and uh, then he tripped him coming down the floor. So Cherry picks up his second foul. Team's fourth here in this second half with 2.38 to go here in the third quarter. Senators uh, 26. Musketeers 17 here, so a nine-point lead. Senators will have the ball back underneath their own bucket here once again. And I tell you, we've been real lucky on these inbounds. They stole it yeah. once, and we got to watch it here. Lane to inbound as they get everything set here. Hoffler to inbound. He looks, gets it out high to Cameron. Jackson back to Lane, corner shot. Three ball off the front of the rim, no good. Weininger pulls it down for the Musketeers. Off the bandit. He'll drive, and he gets fouled on the floor. Oh, that he's on, on the floor. floor. Yeah. yeah, he's got to be on the floor. Nice that's, bucket. That's nice not, bucket. Uh, at the next level, that might go. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, this not in this level. Yeah. Yeah, so second foul on Cameron. And the Musketeers the inbound. Gibson to throw it in for them. As he throws it out high to Temple. Caden off to Weininger, inside to Cherry. He'll spin, throws up a hook, can't get it to go. And Mason Cox almost got the knockdown. Temple pulls it down, shoots it, no good. Cherry over the back of everybody. Yeah, how can, how can Cherry get that sure rebound and not be over everybody? So Cherry scores his first point in the second half, and it's 26 to 19, back to a seven point lead. What the uh, halftime uh, score was eight, so they've cut into it here a little bit. Hoffler with it, inside to Cameron. Now he finds Cox, Mason, reverse layup, and he can't get it. He was in the net, yeah. that should have been goaltending. And no call there as Caden Temple pulls it down. He'll go inside to Cherry, spins, throws it up, can't get it. Rebound pulled down by Hoffa. Lane off to Kenton. Slow it down, boys. Yep, slow it back down. 144 to go here in this third quarter. Kenton will back it out. Now goes in the corner to Rosenbaum. He'll pull up, 10-footer, air ball, and the rebound pulled down by Temple. Caden brings it up. That's exactly what yep. Cherry does. He changes, oh, yeah, the, changes shot. the shot. And a good defense there by Kenton as he tips it away from Cherry. But it'll go back to the Musketeers. Titan will come back in for Mason and Anderson back in for Weiniger as long as uh, uh, Gibson come back in the game too. He'll inbound for the Musketeers as he come in for Bannett. It'll come in to Anderson, out to Temple. Temple back to Anderson, far side, back to Temple. Temple off to Bannett. Now back to Temple, over to Anderson, and it tipped away by Titan. And a battle for it. Cherry pulls it down, and he scores it. That was just a bad bounce yeah. there for the Senators. 26-21. And the Musketeers are cutting into this lead a lot. Hoffler with it, far side, gets trapped. Now gets it off to Titan. 
Titan back out to Cameron, over to Kenton. He'll drive, pulls up, one-handed shot out, off the mark. We're not getting up very good shots here, and they're no. forcing that inside the cherry, and he dunks it home. And he just got a technical foul for hanging on the rim. Yep, sure did. Cherry's third foul, technical foul called. Shot was good there on the dunk as he cuts it to a three-point game, but Lane will shoot some free throws. He got the first one to go. It, it's it's a call in the game that did Cherry hang on the rim? Yes, but was it to protect himself? Probably because Not. he was swinging forward. <laughs> so should he have let go? Yeah, but it's it's a high school game too so yeah absolutely and that crowd gets fired up oh, but yeah. but i didn't think there was anybody in his way and no. you got to let go yeah. i mean he dunked the ball yep and he he adamantly hung on the rim inside it goes they'll kick it back to lane he'll pull it down shoot a high one can't get it tipped away rebound by bannett he'll drive and he traveled with it yeah that's a travel yeah so a turnover against the musketeers and it'll go back to West Washington. 28-23. Senators by five here. Eastern's crowd's pumped Oh, yeah, up. they are. After that dunk, <laughs> that got them going. We got to slow down here and do what we've done to get us here. Yeah. Hoffler with it, far side. He gets it back out to Kenton. Kenton off to Jackson. Now over to Lane, far side. Lane inside to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down. Free throw line shot. Can't get it. Cherry with the rebound. We're just not getting up good shots. No. we got to drive the basket. Well, Caden, that's a shot that we don't need right yeah. there. Peyton Temple, free throw line, gets it off to Gibson, back to Temple, off to Anderson. He'll shoot a three. That's in and out. Battle for the board, and Hoffler and Cherry tie it up. It'll go back to West Washington. So a break there for the Senators, and they'll keep this five-point lead. Weininger will check back in with .7 there yeah. we go in the third quarter as the Musketeers have kind of ate into this lead a little bit. We had it up to 12 at one point. This is gonna come in to Kenton. Yep. Kenton will get it, he just won't even attempt it. That had been a full court shot. Yep. So we'll end the third quarter with a five point lead. Senators 28, Musketeers 23. We'll take a break and come back here on your home for Senator Sports. West Washington live stream and WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment, at Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back here live to West Washington High School. Senators lead 28-23 here as we head into the fourth quarter. Musketeers with their biggest quarters. They got 10 points that quarter, six from Cherry. Got a three ball to go by Bannon, a free throw from Temple. The Senators just seven, their worst quarter of the night as uh, they just get seven points. and. Uh, Got to get back to what we were doing yeah. and give Eastern credit. They've done that half-court trap, and that's kind of uh, extended their defense out, and that's kind of give us fits a little bit. we got to find a way to settle down and just take our time and get up good shots. Anderson with us. We start the fourth quarter. Eastern with the basketball. Inside they go straight to Cherry. Blocked by Lane. Oh, and they're going to get him for the foul. Look pretty okay. clean. We'll, we'll I'll take, take a, that. We'll take a foul on Lane there and that's make Cherry first. go to the line and get two. And Cherry hadn't shot free throws very well no. tonight. As he shot, to, he's two of, or one of three at the line. So shooting about 25%. First one's up and good. I, I can give him You're a You're trying. Little You're trying. Break. I tried to. 28-24. Second free throw coming now for Cherry. Chance to cut it down to a three-point lead. Off the front of the rim, no good. Tighten with the rebound. So four-point lead, 28-24. And here comes the defense again. They get it up quickly to Cameron. He goes baseline, 
And they'll find Hoffler cutting the basket, and he'll score it easy. That's what you got to do. That's what you have to do against that 2-2-1 trap. You got to beat it. You got to beat it up the floor, and they did that time, 30-24. Anderson back the other way, goes to Temple. Caden pulls it down, kicks it back out. Anderson, another three ball off the mark. And Cherry goes over top of everybody. Lane has to foul him again. Could have got him for an over-the-back call. But Lane's going to pick up his second foul. And that'll put Cherry back at the line. We'll get a couple more here. First one's up, and he got that one to go. 30-25. Cherry with his second free throw coming here. Second one's up, and it's good. He hits them both that time, so four-point lead, 30-26. Kenton Chase with it off to Hoffler. Lane looking, finds Ian in the middle, goes, and a steal. Another turnover there, and we just, we have struggled with that. We up to five turnovers here. Deep three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Cameron as he gets it off to Kenton. Gets it up quickly. Jackson Cameron back out to Kenton. Kenton drives, kicks to Hoffler here. Lane back out to Kenton. Kenton wheels around, gets cut off, goes to Cameron. He'll find Ian. Throws the ball and pulls it down. Free throw line, got it. Good shot there by Ian. 32-26, back to a six-point lead. Temple brings it up for the Musketeers, crosses the timeline, gets it off to Bannett. Back out to Temple. Back over here to Bannett inside, tipped away from Bannett. And they're going to get Jackson for the foul. Cameron tried to reach in there as that ball tipped away. And yeah, it, it looked like he had a lot of ball, but I'm sure he got some arm in there too. Yeah. So that's where the foul came. His third foul on Jackson. So Jackson and Lane both playing with three fouls here in the fourth quarter as Eastern will inbound. Just the team's uh, six team fouls. So Bannett with it, out to Anderson, far side to Gibson. Back out to Anderson, back over here to Bannett, back to Gibson, or Anderson, he'll shoot another deep three, and he got that one to go. Wayne got hit right in the throat. 32-29, so he pulls him within three here on that three-pointer. Offer gets tagged in the throat, but he's okay, I believe. As... Uh, Senators with the three-point lead, trying to hang on here. They've led pretty much throughout. Yeah. Um, got it up to a 12-point lead, but Eastern's cut into it here in the second half. Hoffler with it, gets it off to Williams. Titan back out the lane. He gets trapped, almost tipped away. He gets it off to Kenton. Kenton will pull it down, gets it off. Cameron inside to Ian, out to lane, three ball. Oh, and they're calling for a travel. So another turnover sixth of this second half. I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> 54 will check into the game. That's Miller. He comes in for the first time. So they go with two bigs in there against the Senators here. Anderson gets it off the Temple far wing, back out to Anderson, over to Bannett. He'll shoot another three. That's way off the mark. And the rebound pulled down there by Tight. We'll let him shoot all night. Back to Ian, now off to Kenton. Kenton with it. Backs up, gets it off to Cameron. Inside it goes to Rosenbaum. He'll throw it out to Kenton. Kenton off to Cameron. I'd like to see Kenton go to the hole here. Cameron will shoot a floater, can't get it to go. Rebound Cherry. Cherry off the Temple. Temple up quickly. And a timeout going to be called. Timeout here by Eastern. Full timeout, I think. 516 to go in the game. 32 29. Mason Cox will check in for West Washington. You can tell this is just a, a game of runs. It's, oh, yeah. it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And they, the, the Musketeers have done a great job of speeding the Senators up, which is what the Senators did such a great job of in the first half of slowing them down. Yeah, so absolutely. You slow them down, you slow them down, you slow them down, and then you get sped up. So it's 
Kentucky. Well, I think with that, when and I, I've seen a lot of these type of games where that, that trap comes into play, but what we got to do is go to the basket. And we're a little leery to do that with, with the bigs of Eastern inside, but when you go to the basket, it's going to create a couple different things. One, you're going to have somebody open. Two, you get a chance to get fouled in there and go to the free throw line. So I, I would like to see us drive against that a little bit and then dish the ball instead of, uh, you know, trying to settle for, you know, 10, 15-foot shots that aren't falling right now for the Senators. Right, and and Eastern has gone to the two big set here. Oh, so yeah. Twin gonna... Towers down low, 32-29. Eastern will have the basketball. Bannett will inbound here. He'll get it into Anderson. Anderson gets it off. Temple inside to Cherry. He draws the crowd back out to Anderson, over to Bannett. Now inside to Miller, back out to Bannett. Out to Anderson, far side to Temple. He'll drive back, tipped away from him. Cherry pushed him out of bounds. Man, he chucked Lane, and they're going to give it back to Eastern here. Bannett to inbound. He'll throw it into Cherry. He'll back up, give it off to Anderson. Far side to Temple. In the corner, it'll go. Back out to Temple. Over to Anderson. Back to Temple. Temple with it. Off to Anderson. He looks, goes baseline. Cherry with it. He'll spin, kicks it out. Three ball by Bannett up, and he got it. Tie ball game. 30, no, 32-31. I said it was a tie game. That was a well, I was with you. I thought it was yeah. tied too. Inside to Cox. He'll get it out. Over to Cameron now. Jackson inside to Mason. He'll kick it to Lane. He'll pull it down. Shoot a deep three. Can't get it to go. Rebound Cherry. 32-31. He'll get it off to Anderson. Inside to Miller. He pulls it down baseline. Back out to Anderson for a three. In and out. Rebound Miller. Blocked. Oh. And Lane, it looked like he got all ball there. And they're going to get him for the foul. And that'll put Miller at the line. He'll have a couple free throws coming here. One point game here. I guess that, that last shot by uh, Anderson was just a two. Yeah. They, they said, I thought it was a three. Miller knocks down the free throw and ties the game at 32. He'll get another one here. We got to block out here yep. and get Absolutely. a rebound. Shots up and it's good. 33 as he hits them both. And they take the lead here, 33-32. 4-10 to go here in the contest. Hoffler with it. Gets it inbounds to Kenton. Half-court trap again. Coming here for the Musketeers. He'll get it off to Cameron. Now he'll go to Rosenbaum. In, back out to Cameron, out to Kenton. Kenton, far side to Lane. Inside to Rosenbaum. Now to Cox. He'll pull it down, shoot it off the mark. We just can't get those shots to fall. Yeah, I don't know that that's a shot we no, want to take. Not really. Caden Temple with it. He'll pull it down for the Musketeers. Gets it out high to Anderson. Anderson off to Temple. He looks inside. Nothing there. Back out to Anderson. Far side to Bannett. Now to Gibson. Gibson back to Bannett. Now to Anderson. He loses it for a second. Picks it back up. Off to Temple. Looking. Now back out to Anderson. He'll shoot another three. That's way off the mark. Cox with the rebound. Ball gets tipped away from him. Kenton Chase pulls it down. Kenton off the lane. Oh, and he loses it. So another turnover there by the Senators. And Temple with it up quickly. Bannon will shoot the three deep in the corner and got it. Thirty-six, thirty-two. Musketeers with a four-point lead. Their biggest of the night. Coach Sullivan calls a full timeout here. He's got to get his troops settled back down. There's three minutes to go here. Down three. By no means out of this game, but oh, no. we've got to take better shots. Yes, our shot selection in the second half has been non-existent. Yeah. And we're, we can't settle for those, and I've said that the whole second half. Can't settle for those 15, 16 footers. We've got to be able to, and if and if we're going to have somebody take it, we got to get Jackson Cameron, uh, you know, back open to where he can shoot it, which they're doing a good job. They've found him. 
they're doing a good job getting to him on the floor. So 36-32 here as the uh, Senators take a full timeout with 3.01 to go here in the contest as uh, they're trying to find an answer to that uh, half-court trap here that uh, the uh, Musketeers have went to on the defensive end to really give the Senators fit here as, uh, you know, we've only scored 11 points here in the second half. And uh, the Musketeers have uh, put up uh, – 12, so. It's definitely been a, a game of halves. The first half, all Senators. Second half, all Musketeers. Or I said 12. They put up 22 <laughs> in this second half. So it's been two different halves, that's for sure. We only got four points in this quarter. Only had seven points in the third quarter. So we got to find some scoring. we got to find an answer here. Titan Williams with it. Far side to Ian. Three ball up, and he got it. That's what we needed. That's what you got to do right there. That's the person that you, if you're if you're going to have a big shoot it, you want Ian shooting it from over there, not Mason Cox. Right. 36-35. It's got to be Ian or Jackson on those three. Right. Bannett with it out to Anderson. 238 to go. 2-3 zone here by the Senators. And we'll come out. We get the trapping. He traveled. No call. Anderson back out high. Far side to Temple. Back out to Anderson. Anderson now on the attack looking. Can't find anybody. Gets it inside to Temple. He'll wheel around. Back to Bannett. Oh, almost turned it over. Anderson back to Bannett. Back over to Anderson. Inside it goes to Temple. He'll spin. Goes to the rim, can't get it to go, but he gets bailed out. Yeah, after the shot already goes up, yep. then we get the foul call. That's on Ian, his second. His second. Team's eighth, so that'll be free throws for Temple as he'll go to the line here. I like that defensive set from the oh, Senators. Oh, yeah, I like the chaser. Uh, done a pretty good job, but it almost turned him over a couple times. Temple hits the first free throw, 37-35, as Cox will come in and give Cameron a break. Second free throw coming here for Temple. So Two-point lead for the Musketeers. Temple will have another one here. He'll step up to the line. Second free throw's up, and it's good. 38-35. 35, a three-point lead here by Eastern. Kenton Chase, now they go back to the man-to-man -man here. This is where we tore them up before. We gotta do something with it. Mason Cox with it, out high looking. Can't find anybody. Gets it off to Hoffler. Lane pulls it down, back to Cox. Mason with it, looking. Can't find anybody inside. Now drives, gets it off to Hoffler. Lane spins. He'll pull it back out, gets it to Kenton, and a timeout here with 1.35 to go as the Musketeers go back to the man-to-man, -man and it kind of mixed us up there a little bit. Coach. Yeah, the, the Senators had seen that, that trap so many times up and down the floor, they kind of had gotten into a rhythm of what to run. Well, Eastern's coach does a great job of changing that up, yes. get out of that rhythm, you know, can't run the same thing, and now it's a question of, well, what do you run? What works? Yeah. Well, and you know we've got we've got uh, two of our three-point shooters in the game. Cameron's out right now, so we got Lane and Ian uh, out there along with uh, Titan and Mason for defense. But um, you know somebody's got to be willing to uh, take the shot here, and you don't have to have a three here. You just you just got to score the basket. Uh, plenty of time here. Got to get, uh, got to get some points up, and uh, you know, cut into this uh, three-point lead here. 38-35, Musketeers. Senators inbound. They'll get it into Kenton in the backcourt. Now here comes the trap again. They'll get it off the lane. He gets trapped. Goes in the corner to Mason. Cross court to uh, Kenton. He'll pull it down. Chasing finds uh, Rosenbaum in the corner. He'll shoot it. Got it. Two-pointer though. As he was inside the line, but that's uh, all you need. 38-37. Now you got to play some deep. Anderson off to Temple and a foul on Cox as Mason picks up his second as he runs into Temple. And I tell you, Temple's almost automatic at the line. He's been up yeah, there. He's, he's knocked down everything. Been up there, there four tonight. times and he's three of four. He's missed one. He'll go back to the line again. As 
He'll step up there. First free throws up, and it's in. That was a one and one, and he hits yeah. the first one. That moves the lead to two. Yep, 39-37. He'll get another one here. He'll step to the line. Second free throw coming. It's up, and it's down as well. 40-37 here. Three-point game with 110 to go in this fourth quarter, and the Musketeers uh, cling to this uh, three-point lead here, but they've done a great job the second half. I mean, they have uh, outscored us a bunch here. They've got uh, 40, so they've, you know, they've put up uh, 27 points here in the second half to the uh, Senators uh, only putting up uh, 16, so they lead it by three here, 40-37 with 1.10 to go. Senators with the basketball needing some points here to get yeah. this thing back to I don't, I, You know, you can you can run some offense and get a two-point, but then you've got to play the foul yeah, game. Yeah, you got to. So, and you can't foul Caden Temple. I right, mean, you anybody, don't put anybody him else. Anybody him and else. Cherry. Cherry, is, uh, he's been up there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And, uh, you know, he is four of seven at the line. You know, I would foul one of their other, uh, you know, maybe Gibson. He hasn't even shot the ball a whole lot. Um, so if you got a foul, you got to find somebody yeah. that hasn't been to the free throw line. And I'm sure they'll come with a little pressure here to try to get this thing and get us turned over. Right. We got to take care of the basketball here. And they will set up kind of a three quarters trap here for. Uh, the Musketeers defensively. Kent Chase will walk it up. Now brings it across the timeline. 101 to go. Under a minute now. Kent will go on the attack. Dribbles far side. Looks. Gets it off the hopper. Three ball up. Can't get it to go. And that's going to be a foul on the floor. I believe they're going to yeah. get Eastern for the foul. It's going to go against Anderson. He was trying to box out. Yeah. Team six, They're, we're not even in the bonus yet. Yeah. So they got fouls to give here. Hoffler to inbound here. Looking, he'll throw it out high to Kenton. Tipped away from him, steal by Anderson. And Kenton fouls him. Kenton has to reach in. So that, that that's two or three times we've inbounded the ball and had a hard time getting it in. And there's another. Yeah, we get we get lazy on that inbound yep. pass. We just think we can throw it over the top, and yep. you can't. It's a hard pass to throw. Top. You know, it's really hard. You can throw it over the top to Lane. It's a 50-50 <laughs> ball. Yeah. You know, you just throw it up, and now that'll put Anderson at the line. Hadn't been up there tonight, but he'll get two free throws because we're over the double bonus. First one's up and good. Boy, that three by Lane was close. Yeah. Cameron will check back in for shooting purposes. But it's a four-point lead now and a chance to go to five if Anderson can knock down this second free throw. So Anderson will step back up there. And the second one's no good. Battle for the board tipped and Titan Williams comes away with it. Kenton Chase with 45 seconds. He'll bring it up, gets trapped and stolen away from him. Another turnover there, and we have to foul then as uh, Lane reaches in on him. So another bad pass, and we just haven't taken care of the basketball. Yeah, it's it's a game of, of turnovers, and we did a really good job in the first half, and in yeah. the second half, it seems like it's got you know grease or oil or all over the ball. Yeah. We can't just we just can't hold on to well, it. Well, we just that traps give us fits, and um, you know give give Eastern credit. That's they've done what they had to do to get back in it here. First free throws up and it bangs and rolls in. 42-37, 39 seconds. Still just a two possession game. You, you hope that he misses this one. You gotta get it up quick, get a three down, and then uh, either play the foul game or, or try to get a steal. Second one's up and it rims in. 43-37, timeout, full timeout by Eastern. And a six point lead here with uh, 30. Nine seconds to go. Yeah, it's one of those, you know, we we had a game plan in the first half and we really executed it. Second yes, half, the, the execution of that same game plan not not there anymore. It's you know, we got sped up. That that uh, 
half-court trap that they've been running at us. It sped us up, which is not what we wanted to do. We wanted no. to be able to, you know, continue to do what we were doing in the first half. And, you know, Eastern came out and made that adjustment, and it, it has worked. And the Senators haven't been able to adjust to that yet. We haven't had an answer for it, you know, and that's been the problem. And, uh, you know, we've turned the ball over uh, nine times. I got us for nine turnovers here in the second half alone. Um, so, you know, that's that's been the problem. And, and, you know, like I said, kudos to Eastern. They, they made adjustments. I knew they would at the half, even though we got it out to a 12-point lead. And then they've come back. They've shot free throws well. Their, uh, you know, their last nine points have come at the free throw line. Right. So we put them up there a bunch this fourth quarter, and they've made us pay. And, uh, you know, we just uh, just couldn't get over the uh, hump here. But we got, you know, it's a two-possession game. Got to get a three down here early. Kenton Chase uh, gets it inbound from Lane. He'll go inside to Cameron, off to Ian. He'll pull it down, shoot a three. Can't get it to go in the cherry with the rebound. And a foul on Titan Williams on that rebound, so I'll put Cherry back at the line. Musketeers really stretching this out now. Yeah, with, with the, the free with throws. With the free throws and us not being able to, uh, you know, knock anything down on the other side. Well, and they're in the double bonus, have been for a while. Right. So we've had to foul, and that's got us in trouble here. Uh, Cherry at the line, first free throws up, and it rims in. Got the generous bounce there, 44-37. Second one coming. So he'll step back up there. And he knocks them both down. So 45-37 here, an eight-point game. Kenton up quickly with it. Pulls it down, gets it off to Cameron. Back out to Kenton. He'll drive. Dishes in the corner. Ian's three up, and he got it. Timeout called by the Senators. That's still a five-point game with 17 seconds left. Yeah, it's going to be tough from here. 45-40. You know, the Senators still trailing by five. Still a two-possession game, so going to have to uh, – Gonna have to. Gonna have to either foul or steal quickly. Yeah. You got to get a steal right off the bat. And either here. way, Eastern's gonna have to miss some free throws, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to to let the Senators back in this game. And I'm sure they're gonna try to get it into Temple or you know Cherry and Temple both have shot it well from the free throw line, along with Anderson. He's three or four as well. So right. You know they've uh, they've done a good job of hitting their free throws. They've hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen free throws here in the fourth quarter. So Alone. you're saying they're due to miss some. That's what I'm hoping <laughs> I'm jinxing them, but uh, you know, they've done a good job. Give them credit. They've knocked them down when they've had to. And um, you know, Senators gotta get a steal here quickly. Get a three up or even a two. I mean if you can get a two up, that's that's not a bad thing either. Center, or Musketeers to inbound, Bannett to throw it in for them. He'll go long, they beat everybody. Anderson will take it and score it. That pretty much seals it, 47-43. Yeah. Ball up there by Kenton, no good. Rebound Anderson. He'll dribble it out now, dribbles to the corner. And that's the ball game, 47-40. The Musketeers win this uh, second uh, round game here of the holiday tournament. Great effort by the Senators through three quarters. But that trap just gave us fits. Yeah. We, we couldn't. We didn't have an answer for it. And, uh, you know, give, give Eastern credit. They've done a good job. They'll have Borden tomorrow night in the championship game. Salem and West Washington, the first game here at 6. And then we'll have both games. We have for both you. games yep. tomorrow, correct? So we got both games here. So we'll be here with you. Myself and the professor Craig Akers will bring you all that action. We'll add up our uh, stats from this game and take a quick break here. Come back with you here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships 
and a peer mentoring program. The foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, back here live at West Washington High School, the second round game here of the holiday tourney. Uh, West Washington Senators fall here 47-40 to 40 to the Eastern Musketeers. And uh, just to run down the scoring here for West Washington in the uh, losing effort, they had uh, Mason Cox uh, finish the game with one uh, three-point field goal. He was 0 for 2 from the line as um, he finished the game with uh, with that three points for the Senators. For um, Jackson Cameron, he had one two-point field goal, three three-pointers, finishes the game tonight with 11 points. Uh, Titan Williams had one two-point field goal, 0 for 2 from the line, two points for Titan. Um, Ian Rosenbaum leads the Senators tonight. He had three two-point field goals, two three-pointers. He had 12 in the contest. Lane Hofler had two three-pointers, one two-point field goal, uh, and two for two from the line to have 10 points for the Senators with uh, the third scorer in double figures. And then uh, Kent Chase just had one field goal for two points to give the Senators uh, their 40. For the winning Musketeers here tonight, uh, they had uh, three players in double figures, led by Jacob Cherry. He had five field goals, six of nine from the line, 16 points for Cherry in the game. Caden Temple had one two-point field goal, one three-point uh, field goal, five of six from the line. He finished the game with 10. Cody Bannett, three three-pointers, one of two from the free throw stripe, 10 points for Bannett to be their third scorer in double figures. Kate Anderson uh, finished the game uh, with uh, three two-point field goals, three of four from the free throw line to finish with nine. And then uh, Aiden Miller uh, come in, had two free throws for two points to give Eastern 47 in a winning effort here tonight. And, you know, here again, I go back to the adjustments at half. You know, Senators were up 21 to 13 at the half, an eight-point lead. Big swing in the second half as uh, – you know, uh, Eastern was uh, able to outscore us 34 to 19 in the second half. Most of that damage coming uh, in that fourth quarter as they had their biggest quarter of the night uh, with uh, 24 points in that uh, fourth quarter to seal the win here tonight. Uh, the Musket or the uh, Senators uh, only uh, finished uh, with. Um, 
Let's see here, 6, 8, 10, 12 points in that fourth quarter, only 19 points the, uh, the second half. And like I said, 19 to 34, they outscored us in that uh, second half of play. And it was all due to that trap and the adjustments that they made at the half. So a uh, great effort there by uh, Coach Weatherford and the Musketeers. They'll move on to take on Borden tomorrow night. The uh, Braves getting that first round win, 67-38 over Salem. So we'll be back here tomorrow night. This first game uh, in the consolation against uh, uh, the Salem Lions, will the uh, Senators, and then we'll bring you the second game as well uh, as Borden will take on uh, uh, Eastern for all the marbles here in the county tournament. That'll be a rematch. Yeah. Two rematches tomorrow night. We had a rematch here tonight with uh, West Washington and, and, uh, and uh, Eastern. So, you know, these teams are familiar with each yeah. other. They know That's what's going to happen. You know, uh, Borden gets a, a heck of a game from uh, Kasem Nash. Uh, you know, 43 points in that effort to beat Salem. You know, it'll be a different story tomorrow night. I'm sure Eastern will have an answer for that. They've already played. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if you get an answer for a, a kid like Nash. Well, and not when he was on, lights out like he was. Right. They play each other. The what's weird about this? They played is each other the very the first very game. first game, yeah. and Salem West Washington played each other the very first game. Uh, Borden uh, come away uh, with a loss in that first game to Eastern, 45 to 38. So a seven point game in that one. And then, uh, you know, you look back at uh, the, the Salem-West Washington game uh, from that uh, first opening game on uh, uh, Turkey Night, we call it. It was a 57-45 win for the Senators, a 12-point victory. So, you know, both all four teams familiar with each other. Right. They know what the other team's strengths and weaknesses are. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for the Musketeers, I thought they had a great game plan. Thought Coach Sullivan done a great job in that first half. And, you know, we just didn't have an answer. Not that he did a bad job the second half. It's just we turned the ball over a lot. Eastern hit their free throws. And, you know, they were able to get some threes to go down. Bannett had a couple in the fourth quarter. Uh, he had all his points uh, other than the one free throw in the second half. So, you know, they uh, they made us pay in that second half. And uh, we just didn't do enough to uh, – to hold on to that lead and it all happened when they went to that half court trap right and they're you know and and it like we said it's a game of of halves and we didn't make the adjustments that the um that the musketeers were able to do it was right. we just couldn't so well you know it's it's a shame you never want to lose a game but i thought you know we played a lot better than we did the first time we played them and, and uh you know we they knew they were in a game here tonight and uh you know, that's all you can ask for out of your team, you know, but you got to come back tomorrow night, take on Salem again. And, uh, you know, I'm sure all these teams are going to look at a lot of film. Uh, <laughs> the, these coaches will probably be up all night and half the day tomorrow watching film from the first time that they played each other. So right. rematches in both the games here uh, coming up tomorrow night from the opening games of the 2022-23 uh, season. So. Uh, great job here tonight by you and uh, your staff here at the West Washington live stream. We were able to get the Salem kids on in, yeah, in that game. Yeah. And that was cool. I think, uh, you know, this, this old program that we've gotten uh, is all about kids learning how to do this. You know, uh, typically we have kids that do it as well. You know, my son decided he wanted to be in the cheer block, which I don't <laughs> blame him, you know, uh, and I told him that's fine. So, uh, you know, we handled it here for you, and we'll bring it again tomorrow night. want to thank our sponsors again as we thank all them, the Washington County Community Foundation, Eddie Gilstrap Motors, Raymond James uh, Financial Services, uh, United Producers, Links, Links Clothing, Clothing and, and Shoes. shoes. Uh, Michael Long. Michael Long. I about forgot I am fan. Um, and that's I think that's all everybody, of Everybody, I think. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if you want to sponsor, and we've talked about this a lot, and I've talked to different people, never could get anybody else, but this is a great program. It's, you know, it's school-supported. Uh, a lot of work and effort by you goes into this. and <laughs> It all goes back to the kids. It That's does. what it all, That's it all goes back to. So that sponsorship 
Um, yes. You know, we'll definitely get your your business name out there. Absolutely. Um, you know, people are going to hear it. People are going to going to see it. Um, but then the the money that you donate goes back to the kids. You know, for them to be able to carry on this this program and be able to bring you the games. So absolutely. Um, you know, great great opportunity for those of you out there looking for you know some way to to help help out or help the school or you know whatever. All that money goes back to back to the kids so yeah absolutely so jump on board just get a hold of one of us and we'll yeah. set you up with whatever we need so that's all the time we've got tonight so for the craig craig acres the professor here this evening this is bubba abbott we say god bless you and we'll turn it back over we'll see you tomorrow night at six